some of our prior segments, we've covered situations where the cue ball is frozen to the cushion. And in other situations, we've covered it where the object ball is frozen to the cushion. As you look at the table here, you're going to see two balls that are both frozen to the cushion. Now, I want to make sure we understand what frozen to the cushion means. If you notice this cue ball right here, it's actually under the nose of the rubber cushion here. So if you look real close, you can see that. This would be actually under the cushion. This would be against the cushion. This would be on top of the cushion. And this would be way over the cushion. And this would be alongside the cushion. So the various parts of a rail are important to understand and the rubber in which the cue ball is sitting close to. The problem with this is, is if I shoot this three ball straight at it, the cue ball is going to come out away from the rail a little bit and it's not going to get positioned down there. The concept is, is to shoot into the cushion, the cue ball will come back to this cushion and spin down for position to the seven or make the seven and then you can shoot the eight ball over here in the next shot. So in other words, we're trying to get into a zone of shooting so then we can simply shoot the seven and even if you make the seven on this shot, you'll get position for the eight ball. So it's a wonderful way to get down on that side of the eight ball. Now let's show you what that looks like. So we're going to shoot this cue ball into the cushion. It's going to go through the rubber cushion, slide through it, come back out at an angle and into this. This is low left with a nice smooth stroke just like this. And it spins right on down the table like that. Watch how nice it rolls down the table. Rolls down. Now we have a very simple shot for the seven ball next. Of course, you would have it at that end of the table. With a shorter distance, you have more control. Now, even if that ball is not there, you're still going to have an angle to shoot the eight ball in the corner. So when you're starting to shoot shots where you're compressing the rail, it's important to understand how to get the position when you've got to put that side spin into the rubber. Now, just one more follow-up on this is if you have a ball that's on this end of the table, approximately the same distance apart, and the ball's on the other end of the table. Let's put the eight ball up at this end of the table. You should practice this way also because in this case, we're shooting the cue ball with low right English. On the other one, we shot with low left. So keep in mind that you want to find out which side you shoot better toward. And I think it was segment number 28, we covered it whether you're shooting to a better side of your game. In this case, we'll hit the cue ball low right, and the cue ball will come back like this. Watch it this time and it spins down like this. Now you notice I had a little bit of a miscue on that, but you still get down here for the bank shot. If you don't get the miscue, let's show you what happens on that. We'll do it without the miscue this time. Most of you know my wife's name is Miscue, so you're allowed to do that on occasion. So let's do that one more time. Make sure you chalk up. Nice smooth stroke right through the shot like this. And the ball spins down just like that over for your next shot. Again, look at how nice the position on the eight ball is. So this is an example of how to use that side spin on the ball, compressing the rubber cushion. Basically, it's called a draw compression shot. And this is going to help you to go to the next level in your game also, according to Dr. Q. You're looking for a great way to have fun, meet new people, and play some pool. Join an APA Pool League today. Visit us online at poolplayers.com.